Hey everyone, I just wanted to cover a leaf pack I am submitting to the Unreal Marketplace. Just go over some of the options and kind of what it offers and everything. So what it is, is basically just a falling leaf pack, just some leaves falling from a tree. It offers 10 unique leaf types, as well as a master blueprint that gives full control over all 10 different leaf types from one single blueprint, which I will cover the options of in this video. So basically, to use this pack, all you need to know is just the few options that are in this blueprint. I tried to make it as user-friendly as possible. And of course, if there's anything missing or anything new that you would like to see feature-wise, or leaf types, anything, just post in the video. And I'll do my best to support anything you guys are looking for. So basically, you generally want to place this in the center of your trees. Just to make it look like the leaves are falling from the general area. It's the radius that the leaves will be spawning from is a sphere, so when you put it into the center of the tree you have the spawn radius here. You can increase or decrease the size of it depending on the size of your tree. So just to show kind of what this does, if you set this to something extremely low, you'll see all the leaves will be coming from just one small area here. But for this tree I'll keep it something around a thousand. The Spawn rate basically increases the amount of leaves that spawn, so for the purpose of this video, just so all the changes I'm making are a bit easier to see and understand, I'm going to increase this one first. The spawn rate to 50, as you see a lot more leaves will be spawning now. The leaf type is basically the thing you would change to change what kind of leaves it spawned. So you would just change it from 1 to 10 and each one gives you a completely different type of leaf. And again, the leaf types right now are pretty generic, but if you want any specific type of leaf, just post in the comments and I can do my best to support them. The wind direction is the next option. It basically lets you choose which direction the wind blows in, as well as how fast the leaves are blown in. So right now it's kind of a more slow, calm day kind of wind going on. But if you wanted something a bit more stormy looking, you could do something that's a bit too much, but you can see just changing. The higher the number is, the faster the particles will go. So you can see it's increasing it, makes it more stormy feeling. Or you can do the complete opposite, just setting it to something a bit lower, just a real calm day. something really really casual like this. So the next option is the lifetime. To make the leaves disappear a bit more naturally if you look really closely instead of just instantly disappearing they scale out right at the end of their lifetime you can see they're disappearing right in the middle of the air, which isn't something you'd want. So the lifetime option right here actually lets you increase or decrease how long the particle stays in the world. So if I set this something to really low, they'll disappear really fast. But if I set it to something much higher, you'll see the leaves stay in the world a whole lot longer. Which in most cases, you would generally want something a bit higher, at least to the point where they're hitting the ground. But it's pretty easy to set it up to where they disappear right about the point where they're hitting the ground, or right as they pass under the ground. The next
next option that you have control over is the LOD percentages. Right now there are only two LODs. I'll probably be adding a third LOD before submitting to the Unreal Marketplace. But right now, what this option actually allows you to do is set how many particles spawn at different distances away so that you can optimize it basically. So right now, LOD1, after I move a certain distance away, it basically will start spawning 50% of the particles, and this 50% is based on the spawn rate up here. So whatever is set here, this is a percentage of the spawn rate. So LOD2, which is even further away, is set right now to be 25%. If you didn't want to use LODs at all, you just set these to 1 and it will be 100% of the particles all the time. Or you could just set it to 0 to completely stop spawning particles at a distance. So now that I covered all the options, I'm just going to show real quick just to get an idea of the quality of the leaves since it's kind of hard to see with everything smaller and in motion. Let's get real close up here. So you can see they're pretty high quality texture. And they also all have the two-sided foliage material on them. So you can see the shadows from these, the tree up here is actually casting shadows on it dynamically. And it bleeds through with the subsurface scattering. And the leaves and the materials on the leaves do not use any emissives at all, so they will work no matter what lighting you put them in, whether it's nighttime, daytime, snowy, whatever it is, they should match the lighting you're using. And that pretty much covers everything. But again, if you guys have any feedback or any specific options at all that you guys would like to see, post in the comments and I'll do my best to cover anything you guys want. So thanks for watching and hopefully this will be up on the marketplace somewhat soon. See you guys later.